Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news could end up changing the downtown landscape for years to come. General Motors says it plans to move its global headquarters out of the iconic Rensen. The company plans to move down Woodward Avenue to the soon-to-be Hudson's Detroit, which is still under construction right now. Thanks for joining us. I'm DeMond Fernandez and for Devin Skilly. And I'm Kimberly Gill. That move was made official at a news conference that just wrapped up just a few minutes ago, and it raises a lot of questions, mainly what will become of the Rensen and the towers that signify the city's skyline. Business editor Rod Maloney is live on this story for us tonight. Rod, uh, what more can you tell us about this? Well, essentially what we have here is a complete shuffling of the, the, the monopoly board, if you will, here in the city of Detroit. Uh, first of all, they've got a new name for the, the Hudson site. They call it Hudson's Detroit. And let's take a look up at the tower here. You're, you're seeing the office tower, which Dan Gilbert just said is essentially constructed as a headquarters. And then you can see also the, off, the, the, the tower, the actual uh, living quarters and the, and the restaurants and the like, they're gonna be in the taller tower. General Motors, of course, is gonna make its headquarters here. That's a massive shift, considering it was back in 1996 that GM announced that it was buying the Ford-built Renaissance Center back then. So here's the video of the Rensen, and I was there back in, uh, it was uh, 1996, it was May, uh, May, I think it was 17th. And they, it, it, it stunned Detroit then that they announced that they were buying the Rensen. And since then, after spending 75 million to buy it, which was pennies on the dollar, they put a billion dollars into it. But since the COVID uh, pandemic and the like, they're down to just 2,500 or so employees downtown here. They've moved the marketing and the sales group up to the tech center in Warren. So they, they haven't really been using the Rensen to its capacity, and that's a problem for them. It's expensive to run, too. So what do they do? Well, they move over here to Hudson's Detroit. Dan Gilbert apparently pitched this a while back. Mayor Duggan talked about that, saying that he told them that they needed a new headquarters, even though they didn't know they needed a new headquarters. So let's hear from the press conference and what was said here just a few moments ago. We'll explore new ideas for the complex, including the possibilities for commercial or residential or mixed use. And we're grateful for the collaboration with a visionary like Dan, who has let, had such an impact on the resurgence of downtown Detroit in recent years. And for GM, Hudson's Detroit is a perfect fit. Today I could not be more pleased to welcome General Motors to Hudson's Detroit. Hudson's is perfect for GM. It was designed and built to, close, to house a global headquarters. The building will have it all. State-of-the-art exhibition and meeting spaces, luxury hotel, living amenities, exciting restaurants and bars, and destination shopping. Now, Gilbert will be able to finance that tower. Um, obviously, that's a very expensive. They say a billion and a half dollars to build that thing. So now he'll be able to fill that up, finance it, and get money out of it. That's a good thing for him. And so what you heard there, Jim Bieri, who is a real estate analyst here in Detroit, basically explaining how and why this all happens. Dan Gilbert needed somebody to be the anchor tenant here. They now have General Motors. Dan Gilbert also is an expert at knowing what to do with giant buildings like the Rensen. There's talk that maybe you could turn it into uh, partial living space. You could maybe get something else in there uh, that we don't really see right now. But the bottom line is it's this massive shift because essentially the world has changed uh, in many, many ways since back in the time when General Motors bought the rents. And so, so much to talk about. And we'll take a look more closely at this coming up on Local 4 News at 6. So reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney. Yeah. Local Big news coming out of downtown Detroit. Rod, we appreciate it. As Rod said, you can expect more on this story on clickondetroit.com. That's where you can find out everything we know about GM's move from the Rensen. Plus, tonight at 11, we're hearing from urban planners about what a reimagined Rensen could mean for the city and whether the iconic tower should stay standing.